Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. Let's start off with John Smith and the forecast. We're going to look for the chance of a few showers and storms, especially in the eastern part of the state today. But it's going to be hot across the board with mostly sunny skies, especially in the western and central parts of the state. Once again, those showers and storms will mainly be along the east, but we could even see a few of those creep into the central sections of the state. So the metro could get a quick shower or storm throughout the afternoon hours, but most of the activity east of the central mountain chain while we stay dry out in the western parts of the state. And then tomorrow we start to see that dry air start to intrude into the central portion of the state. So we'll start to cut off those rain chances for central sections, but we'll hold on to at least the chance for a few showers and storms in the eastern part of the state through at least the middle of the week. It is already the largest wildfire in state history, and it just keeps growing. The Whitewater Baldy Complex fire in the Gila Wilderness has now burned more than 255,000 acres. Today, fire crews will continue mop-ups, burnout operations, and constructing fire lines. The Catherine County Sheriff's Office has lifted the evacuation order on the privately owned ghost town of Mogollon for residents and business owners. The town will be open to the public beginning on Wednesday. The lightning-caused blaze is now 18 percent contained. Farmington police have charged a man in a fatal weekend stabbing. Officers responded to the stabbing Saturday night and found 51-year-old Gary Collier lying in the street bleeding. They called the gang unit into the scene. The victim was pronounced dead at the hospital. Then Sunday, police arrested 47-year-old Lee Mitchell. He is charged with an open count of murder and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.